Coach William Fritzma. I had the privilege of coaching with Coach Fritzma for three years in the early 70s. Coach Fritzma retired from coaching in 2005 after 32 years all as an assistant coach, starting at Fruitport High School and ending his career at Spring Lake. He was a master of developing individual football skills at the lower levels, which has proven to be a tremendous asset at the varsity. Coach Fritzma's biggest thrill in coaching. In 2000, Spring Lake High School made it through the challenging playoff game and made it, and made it to the state finals at the Silver Lake. It was a thrill of a lifetime. What coaching has meant to Coach Fritzma, the camaraderie, the friendships developed with my fellow coaches, and also with the players, as we work together to accomplish goals, has meant the most to me in my coaching career. Ladies and gentlemen, the newest member of the Hall of Fame, Coach William Fritzman. Thank you, Jack. I uh, was extremely excited, Jack, when I got that phone call from you when uh, you was nominated to the Hall of Fame, and I was, you know, I, I was, I was humbled by it. Thank you very much. Uh, I'd like to thank the, um, Hall of Fame, the, the Hall of Fame members, the uh, Football Association, for uh, accepting me into the uh, Hall of Fame. First of all, I'd like to introduce some individuals that I'd like, like to uh, honor tonight. Um, first of all, St uh, Tom Holland was my first football coach. He was inducted in the Hall of Fame last year uh, at, at Fruitport, that was in the 70s. And I was uh, coaching the uh, freshman football, and then I was coaching JV football at that time, and he taught me a lot of things about running the I formation. Then when uh, Steve Wilson uh, got the job, the head job at Fruitport, uh, Steve uh, kept me on as the uh, JV coach, and Steve uh, put in the wing T formation, and I, and I learned quite a few things about the wing T formation. It was new for me. And he did a very fine job. Steve, I'd have you stand up, please, and, and get recognized also, please. Thank you. <laughs> Steve, because uh, the wing team for a Fruitport thing was new. Uh, we've been an, an I team up until this time, and then when Steve put in this uh, wing team, a uh, wing T formation is all new to us, and he did a great job of, uh, of, of, of teaching us and he had many successful campaigns at, at, at Fruitport. Then, uh, after uh, Steve was, uh, was the, uh, well, left Steve in 1999, uh, the AD over at uh, Spring Lake named Tom Hickman. Uh, Tom says, Fritz, uh, would you come over to Spring Lake and be the offensive coordinator for Jerry Ravenue over there in 1999? And I was uh, willing to uh, uh, accept that position as offensive coordinator, and then Jerry Ravenu and I worked from '99 up until 2005, uh, and we had many successful campaigns over there at Spring Lake. Also, Jerry, will you please stand up to please be recognized? Thank you, Jerry. So, and then I'll also like to introduce my wife. Uh, been married with her to her for 45 years. Uh, and, and she has been by my side uh, all these years and, and has stuck by me. Uh, Vicki, would you stand up? Thank you. Uh, I'm the assistant coaches that uh, I've had in the past, I was, uh, I spent about 20 years being a uh, head JV coach. Uh, some of my assistant coaches um, were uh, coaches like uh, Myron Constantine, uh, Mara Vorma, uh, Terry Westcott, and they were uh, they helped me also, uh, though they're not here tonight. Coaching uh, football has provided uh, me with uh, many um, rewarding uh, experiences. Uh, you get long-lasting uh, friendships uh, with the players you uh, have worked with and the coaches that you uh, and have coached with, and, and then you see these people out on the streets, and you talk with them, and you, and it, it is amazing how many, how many years you, you meet these people, and you bring back old memories. When uh, Jerry and I were coaching together in 2000, we went to the Dome, uh, along with uh, our coaches were Brian Sable and Ken Hayes, and to this day, we, we talk about uh, our game at the Dome 
Uh, we did lose that game at the Dome, but there's still just the thrill of going to the Dome and coaching uh, in that year in 2000. Uh, so what happens and then, I would like to uh, uh, mention them that uh, these, uh, uh, the opportunity to work with these young people and, and, and see them uh, you know, on the streets and, and have relationships with them, uh, there are things that you never forget, that camaraderie, uh, that type of thing. Once again, I, I'm, I'm proud to be uh, in the Hall of Fame and thank you very much for honoring me. Thank you.